Hello guys, now Xiaomi recently announced the Redmi Note 9, the 9S and the 9 Pro. The Xiaomi Note 9 series are similar, but trust me, there are a couple of differences between the three variants. In this video, I'm going to share with you the specs and features of each Note 9 series smartphone and hopefully after watching this video, you'll know which device is right for you. Now let's get started. First things first, the price. If you have less than $120 or 50,000 Naira in your bank account, stop watching this video, you have bigger problems. My brother, go hustle. If you still have money after this lockdown, which I seriously doubt, the Redmi Note 9 will set you back $199 or 77,560 Naira for the 3 GB RAM, 64 GB ROM variant. The Redmi Note 9S starts at $229 or 89,253 Naira for the 3 GB RAM, 64 GB ROM variant. You can get the Redmi Note 9 Pro for $269 or 104,989 Naira for the 6 GB RAM, 128 GB ROM variant. The price mentioned here are from AliExpress. Sadly, the Redmi Note 9 Pro won't be coming to Nigeria, Morocco, or Kenya. I guess the phone doesn't like the heat. Those countries will have to settle for the Redmi Note 9 and the 9S. India, on the other hand, will be getting the Redmi Note 9 Pro, but if you really want it, you can always order by AliExpress. Links in the description. Now, during the launch event, Xiaomi did give a lower price for the Redmi Note 9, but due to exchange rate palaver in Nigeria, I seriously doubt they'll be able to deliver on that price. I guess we'll have to wait and see till mid-May when the phone will be available for purchase. And by that time, with the easing of the lockdown, God help us. For the build quality, the Redmi Note 9's front is made from Cunning Gorilla Glass 5 while the rear is made from plastic with a plastic frame. The Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro on the other hand will be having Cunning Gorilla Glass 5 at the front and the rear with a plastic frame in the middle. All variants will have the 3.5mm audio jack, an IR blaster which I really love, there is no official IP rating here and they all come with USB Type-C ports. Now moving to the fingerprint scanner, the Redmi Note 9 scanner is located at the rear while the Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro scanner is located at the right side and it doubles as the power button. The display on all the variants is the same, they all come with a 1080p IPS LCD panel. The only difference is the Redmi Note 9 comes with a 6.5 inch display while the Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro come with a slightly larger 6.67 inch display. All variants come with a dot display which is a fancy way of saying the front camera is in the display. The Redmi Note 9 has its front camera at the top left corner while the Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro have theirs at the top center position which I prefer. Now to me, the processor is the major reason why you should upgrade to the Redmi Note 9 series. The Redmi Note 9 comes with the MediaTek Helio G85 chipset. The G85 chipset is faster than the Snapdragon 665 chipset and the 675 chipset. So that's an excellent improvement considering the price of this device. For the Redmi Note 9 and the 9 Pro, they both come with a Snapdragon 720G processor. Now moving to the camera department, the Redmi Note 9 comes with a 13 megapixel front facing camera while the Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro come with an improved 16 megapixel selfie camera that can record slow fees up to 120 frames per second. For the rear, all variants come with a quad camera setup. The Redmi Note 9 and the 9S have a 48 megapixel main camera, while the Redmi Note 9 Pro comes with a 64 megapixel main camera. All models have an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So, if you're looking for the variant with the best camera experience, the Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro are the variants to go for. Now for the battery life, all variants come with a 5020 mAh battery with fast charging. The Redmi Note 9 and the 9S are capable of fast charging up to 18 watts and they come with a 22 watt fast charger in the box. <coughs> The Redmi Note 9 Pro on the other hand is capable of 30 watts fast charging and it comes with a 33 watts fast charger in the box. Now in summary, if you want a phone that is fast and affordable and can play most of your demanding games, take decent pictures and have great battery life, you should definitely look at the Redmi Note 9. And on the other hand, if you are a power user, the Redmi Note 9S and the Note 9 Pro are the models you should be looking at. They come with more RAM, a better camera experience, better performance and a slightly bigger screen. So that's it from me guys. Thank Thank you for watching. I can't wait to get my hands on those devices to show you just how awesome they truly are. Thank you for watching once again. Hit that like button if you haven't. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon. Valor, signing out.